Hi everybody, this is Shiva Viram signing in. Welcome to the third part of electrical traction. In this session, I am going to explain you the quadrilateral speed time curve. In the previous session, we have seen the trapezoidal speed time curve. And there are a few differences between these two. Let me explain you. In quadrilateral speed time curve, we have three parts from O to A, accelerating period, and from A to B, coasting retardation and from B to C retardation. Acceleration period is similar to that we have discussed in the case of uh, uh, trapezoidal speed time curve. So at the end of uh, A or with, after the duration of uh, time T1, that vehicle reaches its maximum speed V1 and time taken for that is T1. So alpha, the acceleration is given as uh, v1 by t1 or you can write the equation for t1 as equal to v1 by alpha alpha is the acceleration represented in kilometer per hour per second kmbh ps and if you consider the journey from a to b at a the speed is v1 and here we cut off the supply the vehicle moves on on its own inertia and reaches point b where the speed has been reduced to V2 and from A to B the vehicle retards or decelerates with beta C which is known as coasting retardation represented in kilometer per hour per second. So here beta C, uh, the time taken for this change of speed from V1 to V2 is T2. So the beta C can be represented as V1 minus V2 by T2, change of speed divided by time. It is also represented in kmph ps and at b we are going to apply the brakes so the speed drastically decreases and becomes equal to zero so at c the vehicle comes to rest position the time taken for that is t3 so here the retardation beta is represented as v2 by t3 or you can write down the equation for t3 as equal to v2 by beta so if you find out the area of this graph OABC that will give us the total distance traveled D. So here with respect to simplified trapezoidal speed time curve a few differences are there. We are going to have two speeds V1 and V2 and another thing is the coasting retardation beta C is involved here. Let us write the let us find out the derivations for this quadrilateral speed time curve. For that we consider V1 as uh, speed at A in kilometer per hour and V2 speed at B in kmph and OA is accelerating period, AB is coasting period and BC is braking period. So beta C is coasting retardation in kilometer per hour per second. So it is wrongly printed here and T2 is time of coasting retardation in seconds. Now let us find out the area first. So T1 is written as Vm by alpha, T2 is written as V1 minus V2 by beta C and T3 is written as H is equal to V2 by beta and let us consider D as the area of the quadrilateral OABC. So here the total area of quadrilateral can be divided into three segments. So the first one is, first let me explain you here then I will show you the graph. The first one represents the area of the first triangle and second one represents the area of the second triangle. This is the area of the trapezium. The total area can be split into two parts, three parts sorry. So here this is the first part area of a triangle. This is the second part area of the small triangle and this portion represents the trapezium. So first if you find out the area of this big triangle it will be equal to half into base into height, half into T1 by 3600 because we need to represent T1 in terms of seconds sorry hours and V1 multiplied by V1. Similarly the second one is uh, this smaller area half into base is T3 multi multiplied by V2 so T3 to be represented in hours so it will be equal to half into T3 by 3600 multiplied by V2 and now the area of this trapezium is equal to half into the distance between these two is T2. So half into T2 multiplied by V1 plus V2. The sum of the parallel sides. V1 plus 
v2. So if you find out this, you are going to get the area of uh, that. So here the total time is given as t1 plus t2 plus t3. And if you simplify this, uh, we are going to get, so here from these two equations, take out v1 as common, we get uh, 1 by 2 into 1 by 3600 is there in each term. So it will give us 1 by 7200. So if you take out v1 here, common, we get t1 plus t2 and v2 from these two, if we get uh, t2 plus t3 and t1 plus t2 is written as t minus t3 and this is written as t minus t1 capital t minus t1 so here we get uh, if you substitute you get this equation here and again from these two if you take out capital t as common we get v1 plus v2 into ty uh, 7200 minus v1 t3 plus v2 t1 by 7200 again we can write down for t3 t3 is equal to v2 by beta and t1 is equal to v1 by alpha substitute we get uh, again uh, from this we can take out vn v1 v2 as common so finally we are going to get the equation for d as equal to 1 by 7200 into t into v1 plus v2 minus v1 v2 into 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta this can be written as k so k into v1 v2 this is equation number one and similarly you can derive another equation for t2 uh, for this quadrilateral speed time curve, T2 is represented by V1 minus V2 divided by beta into C. Write down the, uh, this equation for V2, we get um, uh, V2 as equal to V1 minus, from this equation, write down for V2. So we get V2 is equal to V1 minus T2 into beta C. Here I am writing down for T2 as equal to, T2 can be written as T minus of T1 plus T3. So again, T1 is written as V1 by alpha, T3 is written as V2 by beta. So finally, if you simplify all these things, we are going to get V2, uh, something in terms of V1 and V2. So let us take V2 terms to the left hand side. So we get V2 into uh, V2 minus something like this. So here, if you take V2 common on the LHS, we get V2 into 1 minus beta C by beta is equal to V1 into. Now, finally, we are going to get the equation for V2 as uh, this much. So these are the two equations which are going to uh, help us to find out the unknown parameters in the quadrilateral speed time curve. Now let us find out one numerical problem on this. So here the distance between the two stops is given as uh, 1.6 kilometers. So the distance is given in kilometers. No need to have the conversion. Average speed is uh, given as 40 kmph. The acceleration alpha. Retardation during coasting means beta c and braking, so beta. Alpha is given as 2 and beta c is given as 0.16 and beta is given as 3.2. So we need to observe, uh, uh, we can easily guess that the given curve is related to quadrilateral speed time curve, no need to again tell us because from the parameters you can guess. So we have to find out the duration of acceleration, accelerating, that is T1, coasting is T2 and braking period is T3. And also the distance covered during these periods, that is the area of the uh, that quadrilateral, we have to find out. First let us, from the given data, we can find out the total time of run T is equal to from the formula 3600 into D by VA. Here the D is given as 1.6, VA is given as 40. So substitute those values, you get the value of uh, capital T as equal to 144 seconds. Now let us write down the equations which are known to us regarding quadrilateral speed time curve. So first one is 7200 D is equal to uh, V1 plus V2 into T minus V1 V2 into K. Okay, these are the two equations. Uh, first write down the equation for V2 as equal to, uh, we get substitute the values. 1.136 v1 minus 24.25 this is the equation and second one is uh, here if you put the values of v2 in terms of v1 so just now we have uh, derived in the previous slide so substitute in the place of v2 the previous equation we get uh, the total equation in terms of v1 square so a quadratic equation we are going to get uh, in terms of v1 if you simplify this, you get the value of V1 by using the roots of quadratic equation minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4AC by 2A. So we, have, we are going to have the value of V1 as equal to 52.65 kmph and substitute the value of V1 in this equation, you get the value of V2. 
So once you get the values of V1 and V2, you can find out uh, value of uh, T1, T2, and T3. T1 is equal to V1 by alpha and uh, T2 is equal to V1 minus V2 by beta C and T3 is equal to V2 by beta. So T1 is V1 by alpha, you get 1.6.76 seconds. And the duration of breaking is uh, a T2, which is equal to 35.56 by 30.2. And uh, during acceleration, distance during uh, acceleration is uh, area of the first part, first triangle. And similarly, distance during coasting is uh, area of the trapezium. So all these things we have derived. Distance during retardation is area of the second triangle. So if we add these three things, we are going to get 1.6 kilometers. That's all for today's session. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I give your valuable feedback that is going to help me a lot in making uh, the videos in a better way. Thank you very much once again. And this is Shiva Biram signing off.